Alright, make sure you got your potions and everything. Oh, I can barely hear you. How about now? Better. Okay. Oh, I'll check what level I am. Because actually, on my axe and my throwing knives, I've hit the level cap. And I can't go any higher until we go into hard mode. Damn. Oh, no, never mind. The, I think the cap is at one, two, three, four, five bars. At least for me. That's how it was on the 360. So I'm getting close to the cap on the knife. My holy water and Bible should be upgraded, but I don't know that it is. Anyway, is he ready to redeem ourselves after that last fucking ass whooping we got? I'm ready to try to redeem ourselves. Look, I just need you to jump instead of just sitting down with your missiles. If you have to, put your camera at half screen. Because that's what kept killing you. He would do the half screen uh, flying thing. Yeah. I could be doing more damage too if I put on the Artemis ring, but I want to level up, so I'm doing the mana and the uh, mastery one. Yeah, I can buy a ring that like increases the probability for souls to drop, but... He should have been doing that, uh, on the build-up to this. <laughs> well, it's also, uh, a lot of money, and I spent, like, all my money. Thank you. Um, uh, spent all my money on the RPG, Oh, shit, so. bastards. Oh, thank you. You didn't even kill one of those things. I killed the one behind you. Oh, my screen looked like it went through it, and it touched the other three, but didn't do anything. Wait, right here. I want that chest. I love how everything's all retro looking and then the chests just don't look like they fit. Yeah. Get him, Beeble! Oh, that was bad. I don't remember. That's oh, that's not it. Oh, you know what would be cool? If you got uh, Soma's stand ability as a soul. He has a stand, by the way. Like an actual stand. What the fuck is... Oh, and, a... uh, his stand actually says Aura, Aura, Aura when you activate it. No way. No, it does. Because at this point, Castlevania didn't have, like, any influence from, um, JoJo's, but... Starting with Symphony of the Night, going forward, uh, it was just JoJo references left and right. Hell, even in Bloodstained, um, with the fucking Silver Chariot stand next to his Crusader armor. Yeah. Oh, I hate this part coming up. Character models are way too big for the fucking. Hey, there's one right here, too. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Those things have a lot of health. I mean, a lot. Yeah, I said that. Damn, that move does work. Damn! <laughs> I cannot stop myself. <laughs> 
Oh, oh turkey, dude. right here. Dude. Fucking! Oh my god! <laughs> We're dumb. That's probably why the skeletons turn <laughs> at us. Wait, stand right here. Oh man, I wonder if the Castlevania on Netflix got a new season. Uh, I think it, it's confirmed. I looked this up the other day. Well, because it's October. It like, should be out. If any game. Ah! Yeah, it's not going to be out for the next year. That sucks. God damn it. You know, I thought they were going to do the, um... The game about the fucking... About the demon forgers, but they still haven't got to that point yet. They're building up to it still. I mean, I'm not complaining. It was a, it was a good scene, except for the sex scene. Yeah, that was uh... that was just really uncalled for. Like you can imply that they had sex, but I mean. You showed my man Alucard getting fucking railed in his butthole. Like, it would have been better if he was railing the other guy slightly, but nah, he was getting railed. I don't know. I just can't look at him the same after that. I mean, I'm gonna assume that video game Alucard is different. But man. Wait. Okay. Oh yeah, you need this one. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay. There we go. That's what I think we do. I'm Dude, you're one health till you're dead. Just I'm aware. Here. Use your healing thing. Really gonna go after my fucking mummy? You do almost double my damage. Like, I have one more fucking hit that doesn't make it double. Hey, there's a thing here to grip, uh, grab another potion. You know, just in case. I did it. Did it, hooray. Oxfords. That's like the Jordans of this world. Oh, so, okay. I'm gonna get to that thing I was telling you about now. Before I forget it. So, uh, I was listening to like a talk show thing, and there was a guy on there, um, like a man whore, like even more of a man whore than I am. And he was talking about single mothers with teenage daughters. And what they do is that they would sell out their daughters to their boyfriends or whatever to keep them happy. And I was like, yeah, I believe it. But I was like, yeah, that's gotta be like a rare thing, right? Well, last night, I uh, had a girl over. And prior to that, she was telling me some stories about some guys she was with. Um, he was always talking about how he wanted to... Well, he's always do anal with her. Always had her keep her clothes on. And was talking about how he wanted other guys to come in her too. And then she pegged him in his butt. And I thought that was funny. And I told her, I was like, look, that dude's That's gay. That's fucking gross. Yeah, I was like, that dude's gay. She's like, well, I don't know. I was like, nah, he's gay. What other dude talks about wanting other dudes to be up in the butt and only wants butt sex? But anyways, so then she was telling me something. She's like, yeah, well, he also said some other weird stuff. I was like, oh, like what? Because I thought it was funny, because, you know, the gay stuff was funny. She goes, well, he asked me to grab a pair of my uh, daughter's underwear. Her daughter's 13. Uh, dirty underwear, and let him wear it while I peg him. I was like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah. I was like, you didn't do it, did you? She said, well, no. I uh, need him in the balls. I said, so is that the reason why y'all stopped talking? 
she said, and here's what she said. Well, I need him in the balls. What did she leave out, Choka? Uh, her leaving him? Yeah. yeah. So apparently that was, they stopped talking, but that wasn't the reason. So she comes over and she's telling me more about this. She's like, yeah, he, uh, he asked me to take naked pictures of my daughter and send it to him. And I was like, then this is before, so, wait, was that the reason y'all stopped talking? She said, well, no, this is before the underwear incident. I was like, what? So, um, I'm gonna kill the laughing skeleton when you do that. So I was like, that wasn't the reason y'all stopped talking either? Like, you still talk to this dude even after that? She was like, yeah, I was like, that's fucking yeah. fucked up, you know that, right? She was like, yeah, I know. You didn't get it, the pictures, did you? No. And I was like, yeah, like, he shouldn't be doing that. And here's her reasoning for why she wouldn't do that. She said, well, that's my baby. Right? What, what, is, what is she leaving out of that reasoning? Uh, it's a fucking 13-year-old girl he's asking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I started thinking about it, right? I started thinking about that fucking talk show I listened to uh, the other day when the dude was talking about women who would sell off their daughters. And she is. She's probably one of those. I mean, she said she didn't do it. I hope she didn't do it. But the fact that she still kept the guy around even after that, it's fucking pathetic, dude. It's it's gross. And then I started talk, thinking about it. Um, that whole women selling out their daughters, it's a lot more common than you would, like, think or want to even know. Yeah. It, That's fucked up. Yeah, because I started thinking about... I, start, I started thinking about it, right? Because I usually date older women because I can't stand women my age. And I guarantee you a few of them probably would be like that. I was thinking about the 40... Remember what I was saying about the 40-year-old chick, the rich one? Yeah. I was thinking about something after, uh... Because when that girl told me the story about the dude asking about shit about her daughter, that kind of just ruined my whole mood for the day. And right after she left is when I fucking texted in the Discord about that, because I wanted to talk about it then. But you didn't answer, so I said, fuck it, we'll just save it for today. Anyways, I started thinking about that. Four-year-old chick, uh, her daughter was 14. And... She only sent me, the four-year-old only sent me two pictures of herself. She sent me a lot of pictures of her daughter. Like, just her and her daughter like going out to places. But she sent me more pictures of her daughter than herself. Right? Yeah. I mean, she never said anything weird like that, but is it, like, I get you that you're proud of your kid. But, like, I was... I even told her I never wanted to meet her kids, because she and I were just supposed to be like a friends of benefits thing. I wasn't supposed to meet her kids. And she just kept saying that she did. So then I thought about that. You remember that other story I told you about, um, about that girl I was with in North Carolina? Like, they really fucking would. If there was a different type, if I was a different type of guy, they probably would have no issues doing that. Now I think that's fucking disgusting. Uh, let's go this fucking disgusting. But, it's the fact that it's not even, like, it's not even a rare occurrence. And that's the thing that gets me, man. It's, shit like that is not rare. And I was thinking about other shit. Um, no, there's not one behind that wall. People, like, I'd say I'm a sexual deviant, but I'd still never, like, do anything like that. Anything, like, taboo like that. It's fucking weird. But I was thinking about it. It doesn't... Choke it. If you had a weird, like, sexual taboo, maybe even illegal, how open would you be to talk about it? Not very. Yeah, you would think so, right? But people with those taboos, they're not very quiet about them. Like, it doesn't take too many days of knowing them before they start talking about this stuff. So, all this shit's a lot more fucking, like, everything, like, including incest and all this, is a lot more common than anyone wants to fucking be comfortable with thinking about. Like, our site, our society's fucking degenerate. Oh. 
It kind of put me in a, thinking about that kind of put me in a sour mood yesterday. So it's something I wanted to talk about today. But like, if you use, if you use, if you use that mother though. So what? I'm upset you brought it up. Yeah. Well, it was. It's a lot to fucking have on one person's mind, man. Cause it's a weird fucking. Re it's a depressing revelation. But, you know, misery loves company, so I want to make sure that someone else has to know my fucking pain. It's not even like pain, but it's like I don't know, man. It just it just puts me in a fucking in a bad mood. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. So, if you was the mother, let's just role play for a minute. And you were the mother, and your friends with benefits were not being a boyfriend, was asking about shit. Like, what would your response be? You're gonna die. Uh, Better do another healing. I, like, not, not, even, not even fuck no. It's like I'd be willing to report that dude to the police. You guys play on PS3? No, Rick. We're playing. Uh, Rich, we're playing on uh, Xbox 3. Well, Xbox One with the um, 360 backwards compatibility. But yeah, no, I told her. I said, look. I, I asked her, did he say any of this in text? She said no. He was always sure to make sure he talking personal or in phone about it. I said, look, even though you don't have any proof, uh, I would still like tell your local police just to be aware of this guy. I'm not sure if that can do anything, but you know, I'd feel better knowing that they kind of have this guy on the radar, right? Yeah. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a... But yeah, I'm, I'm done with the topic. I'm done with the topic. I just wanted to talk about that, because it's... It's... I don't know. Alright, so I called him Rich earlier. Rich Tur C V. Oh, Richter Oh, Richter Castlevania. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what they got. Yeah, he was asking me to play on PlayStation. Which I don't even think they have backwards compatibility uh, for this game on PlayStation, which kinda sucks. We actually emailed that's Konami awesome. and asked him to put it on Xbox uh, backwards compatibility. I thought I'm not tweeted him. Well, you tweeted him, I emailed him, but I mean it was only like a month or two after that that it was backwards compatible, so I'm not gonna take credit and say that we did it, but I mean, I think it's cool that it happened. Anyways, there's another Kirby <laughs> right here. Um, wait, where are my pods? Oh, am I full health? So is that why? Hold up, I'm not sure if I'm full pods or not. So I'm gonna go back just to be safe. Okay. Oh no, I don't have any pots on me. Fuck. Okay, so should I get high pots or go for like the mega pot? That is up to you. I'm thinking mega pot, really. We don't have a lot of time, so. You know, if you get skeleton, do your best not to. Well, first. Wait. Don't start the boss fight. I'm not. The music changed for me, so I got worried. Man, just imagine if we could carry two super pods, though. This game would be fucking. Oh, well, you know what? I have slightly under four health. I'm gonna eat a crumpet. Oh, I know, riveting gameplay, inventory management. I'm aware. I really would like us to get to chapter 11, Is though. That uh, cause that's fucking, like, that shit's long. I don't even think I tried it. I don't think you have either. Like, it's super long. Like, I, I, I couldn't even get all the fucking, um, chests. Like, I kept failing just based on time. So I had to skip every chest and only do objectives. Oh yeah, it's kind of like non-linear, where you can like go out of order with the bosses, but you have to kill all the bosses before the final one opens up. Okay, so remember stand in front of them, and sub shit isn't really gonna work. 
And, okay, now I'm literally doing half your fucking damage. So, I can... If he's close, I can do two whips before I have to jump. And if he's far, I have to wait until after he shoots. Yep. At least we got the timing down better this time, for, at least for this phase. On my screen, that should have hit you. On my screen, it should have hit me too. Oh, well, I'm glad we're in agreement with that, though. Oh shit. Oh, ah, see? Oh, I fucking oh. told you. Oh, he's still gonna do the fire. Yep. Me fucking twitch. Like, my leg actually twitched as I tried to jump out of the way physically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your uh, rocket hit him. Good. I got a face. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, you're gonna start with that, huh? Okay. What the fuck just hit you? Just fired it twice. But that was done. Oh my god. <laughs> you jumped into it. Do it now, potion. Okay, had to make sure one of us knew which one we were gonna do. Jump. Oh no! Uh, at least you're staying mid map this time, which is working out better. Man, we're getting good at this because I couldn't even dodge him at all yesterday. That was all I could dodge yesterday. <laughs> Rip. Uh oh. I don't like being this close. I'm I'm actually too scared to try the bouncing off his head. Bye was kind of blocking the screen a little bit. Why don't you do your holy Kamehameha wave? Oh my god! Oh, put me in the wall. No, you, need, you gotta stop doing the fucking um rocket launcher. That's what's getting you killed. Shit. Well, I still got uh, a potion left. But next person that dies has to be me. Like, I'll even tank it if I have to, just to make sure that uh, you get to use your potion. <gasps> we did it! That was not bad. No. Once I realize I can't just fucking camp in the corner with the rockets. <laughs> I mean, you could. All you had to do is just know when to jump. 